What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a few of my skin retouching techniques in Photoshop, such as frequency separation and dodge and burn. If you feel like following along, I'll leave a link to the photo in the description. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, so here's the raw photo that I'll be editing today. First, I like to start off in Lightroom just to get my exposure dialed in. Once I get that corrected, I like to right click on the photo, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Alright guys, so now that you got the photo opened up in Photoshop, what you're going to want to start off doing is cleaning up any of the imperfections in her skin. So let's go ahead and zoom in. So as you can see here, she has some acne, things of that nature on her chin, on her cheeks, right up here on her forehead. So we'll go start off on the chin right here. Go ahead and make a blank layer. You're gonna to wanna to grab your healing brush tool. Make sure you're in normal blend mode, current and below. So. Go to the area that you're wanting to fix. You will want to select an area around it so that it's similar to what you're going to be healing. So Alt or Option, click, go over it. Alt Option, go over it. Alt or Option, click, go over it. You just continue that step all around her face until you have it to where you like it and you think that it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up so I don't bore you with the next 10 to 15 minutes of me just clicking around her face. Alright guys, so now that we got this face pretty cleaned up, I'm not going to go all out on it just so I don't make this video 30 minutes long of me retouching skin. Um, we're going to go ahead and zoom out here so I can show you the before and after her for her skin cleanup. So go ahead and click your layer off and on. So you can see there I cleaned up a lot of all the blemishes around her cheeks, chin, and her forehead. Alright, so now that you have that done, Go ahead and hit Command Option Shift E to merge the layers. So what that did is it took the layers that you had underneath it and made it into one. So now, if you turn this off, it doesn't even matter because this layer is still on. Okay? Alright, so take that, duplicate it again. Name your bottom layer low and your top layer high. And what you're doing here is you're naming these because this is your frequency separation. So you have your low frequency separation and you have your high frequency separation. So what you're gonna do here is turn the high off, click on low, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you're gonna do enough blur to where there's no texture on the skin or the texture is pretty much almost all the way gone. So we're gonna go about probably eight here. This one looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and do eight. Go back up to your high, turn it on. Go to image, apply image. Once you have that box pop up, go to your blending mode. Turn this to subtract. And in order to have anything happen on this screen right here, you need to change your layer to low. You're, you wanna affect the low level right here. And you want to make sure your scale on your all set is 2 and 128. And you should have the results of your screen to look like this. Click OK. Turn that blending mode right here from normal to linear light. Now you're going to want to group those together. Shift. Click the layers that you want. Command G. Name that frequency separation. I do initials, so FS for short. Go ahead and open that back up, click on your low level, go over to your lasso tool, and what you're going to do is you're going to select pieces of the skin to start softening. So I'll go ahead and start this process here, I'll show you a sample. Go ahead and select it around, I like to split it, pieces up of the skin, just so I'm not affecting mass areas at once, and you want to have a feather of about 15 to 20. 
That way you have a little bit of wiggle room while you're doing this. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then you're gonna wanna raise this up until you start seeing some blur on her skin so some of the blemishes start to fade away. So we'll go up here, let's see what 16.2 looks like. Very subtle, I'll move it up so it's a little easier to see on your guys' screen. Okay, so I like that, about 19. So we'll go ahead and do that. And so you will repeat this process along her entire skin. But you wanna make sure you stay away from the eyes so you don't blur any of the lines around the eyes, lines of the nose, lines of the lips, things of that nature. So I'll go ahead and speed this up and then show you guys the before and after. All right, real quick, I wanna come in here and let you know when you're selecting new parts of the skin after you do the first one, you wanna go back up to filter and hit your previously set action. So you'll hit Gaussian blur again, or if you wanna change the softness of different parts of the skin, you can go to blur, Gaussian blur, and repeat that same process, changing the, um, the numbers as you please. So just to let you guys know that. All right, so go ahead and speed this back up. All right guys, so now that I just got done softening the skin, let's go ahead and look at the before and after. So before blemish removal and skin softening, after. So far so good, cool. All right, so now we're gonna go to the high frequency level and here you will affect the texture of the skin but not the color, which is really nice. So if they have a lot of bags under their eyes, you can fix that with this texture layer. All right, so go over here to your clone stamp, grab the clone stamp tool Zoom in. So I'm just gonna remove some of these bumps here. So what you're gonna do is, if you're familiar with the clone stamp tool, you know you hit Alt or Option, Sample Layer, and Paint. This also helps get rid of any kind of lines that are in the skin. Um, so I can show you down here, I think she has one. Get right here around her mouth. So go ahead and pull that size down, click next to it, Alt Option, simply go up. So you're changing that layer. And normally, I would remove these hairs going across her face, but we can save that for another tutorial. If you'd like to know how to do that, sharpen eyes, brighten eyes, brighten lips, teeth, Leave a thumbs up, comment below, let me know, and I'll do another video as well. So let me go ahead and zoom out here. So that's just a simple um, process on the texture. Go ahead and zoom out. So as you can see here on her forehead, she has some imperfections that we could smoothen out. Go ahead and do this. Remove that, simple enough, using the clone stamp tool. This is the beauty of frequency separation. It's a very controversial thing. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. You should leave the face natural. It's all personal preference, however you'd like to do it. Okay, so got the texture cleaned up, like in the way everything's looking. Let's go ahead and do this before and after with everything fixed. A lot better, looks good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some dodge and burning. So I do dodge and burn a little bit different than most people. So what I do is I start off with two curve layers. So one curve layer, second curve layer. Name this one dodge, name this one burn. Change this to screen because it's dodge. Screen and burn. Change this one to multiply. And these are the blending modes. Go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is shift, click the two layers, command G to group them, add a layer mask, go to image, apply image, and you're gonna change your previously selected blending mode when you did frequency separation from subtract to multiply. and change your opacity to 
and click OK. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Koi, her face is crazy contrasty, her highlights are blown out on her face. What are you doing? So <laughs> I'll fix that here. So go to Opacity, change that to 50% as well. You're going to open up that group. You're going to go to your dodge layer, double click on it to open up your blending options. And you're going to go to underlying layer. And what you're going to want to do is, move this out of the way a little bit, move this to the right until you start seeing where you want the burn effect to take place on her skin. So I'm going to say about right there. And then what you're going to want to do is take this slider and split it with Alt Option and click. So you got it split now and you're going to drag it all the way to the right to feather it. So now that you got it feathered, hit OK. Go up to your burn section, go ahead and double click on this. But you're going to do the opposite now, you're going to take the white slider and move that one until you start seeing the highlighted areas that you want. So maybe a little more, maybe a little less, about 185. So then you're going to do the same thing, Alt Option to split the slider, slide it to the right to feather it. You can preview it, turn it off and on, so as you can see there, kind of got some highlights on her nose, on her forehead, perfect, so hit OK. So now that you have those layers selected, go ahead and right click on it, hit group from layers, name this dodge and burn, hit OK. Collapse those, and what you want to do is, if you notice here, the entire image is dodged and burned. You don't want that. You just want her face, maybe her neck, maybe some spots of her hair, her hand, but we're just going to focus on the face for now. So what you want to do is, Add a layer mask, but you want to invert that, so command I on your layer mask. Now everything's invisible. Take your white paintbrush, make sure your foreground is white, hit B for your brush tool, make sure your opacity and your flow is 100%, zoom in, and simply start painting on your dodge and burn. Alright, I think I got her face dodged and burned. Once you get that process done, if you think it's too much, like I said, you can always change the opacity over here. Drop that down. I'll probably drop it down to about 70. So, looks good. Looks a lot better. So, go ahead and zoom out. What I would do here is I might drop it down a little bit more. All right, so if I were to edit more of this photo, I would use some color balance, some hue saturation. I would brighten up the lips, brighten up the hair, um, change some of the backgrounds. I would add a vignette, things of that nature. So if you wanna learn that stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to teach you guys my process. So let's go ahead and look at the before and after with frequency separation and dodge and burn. So before, after before after looking good Go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit better so you can tell a huge difference in her skin there you go guys that's all there is to it if you have any questions please be sure to drop them in the comment section below if not awesome that means I did my job the right way if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified every time I upload peace What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a few of my skin retouching techniques in Photoshop such as frequency separation and dodge and burn. If you feel like following along, I'll leave a link to the description. Oh my god, I can't even say link to the photo. To the photo. Fronosphoto.com If you feel like following along, I'll leave a link to... If you feel like following along, I'll leave a link to the description. What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a few of my frequency separation what? What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a few of my skin retouching techniques in Photoshop such as Oh my gosh. 
If you're interested, I'll be leave a link to the description of the photo. So close, so close. What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you some of my Photoshop techniques. What the f did I just say? <laughs>